Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Revive Me, and today I'll be talking about the new update for Ikeman Go on Xbox Dev Mode. So within this new update, there has been tons of new fixes, such as the crash on the controller when it disconnects is completely fixed. There's also been changes to the cache from eating up too much RAM within this build. This also auto preps Mugen packs with the Ikeman files. It auto detects the system.def file if the specified one doesn't exist. This also auto preps the aerial and debug fonts if there's any missing within your packs. This now also works for internal setups for those who do not have external drives to use. And also there is now a new beautiful UI that Whirly has put together. So now you can have multiple screen packs inside a folder and you could pick which one you want to play from the menu. I bet. So let's get straight into the tutorial. All right. So for this tutorial, all you would need is this Ikeman Go UWP 1.0.6.0 MSIX bundle. You can find this file within the Xbox dev store. I'll have this link down below as well. All you would have to do is simply go to the tabs right here. Click on games. Scroll down all the way to the bottom, and then you should see Ikeman Go, and then simply click on download. And just like that, you just got the new MSIX bundle. Now let's get right back to the tutorial. If you're using an external drive setup for this, what you need to do is make sure you have it formatted properly and that you also have special permissions set on your drive. If this is your first time doing it, I highly recommend checking out the description where you can find all my dev mode related tutorials and how to properly set up your external drive. For dev mode and if you do already have it properly formatted and set up all you simply got to do is create a folder named underscore packs and then within this folder all you would do is drag and drop all your eichmann or your mugen packs right into it and then all you simply got to do is drag and drop this underscore packs folder right into the root of your external drive and then you should be good to go and then those who are using internal setups i'll show you what to do once we install this app to the dev portal now i'm going to show you the remote access at the bottom so simply click on remote access settings and what we're going to do is enable the xbox dev portal what this will do is this is where we will install our apps we would have to do this from the computer or your phone make sure to keep a screenshot of this because anytime you want to enter the access portal on your computer you're going to have to use either one or two links whichever one works for you and then at the bottom there's the authentication where you can set a password and username me personally i just keep this unchecked it's just a little easier to get onto the page without having to enter your information every time and then what we're going to do is we're going to leave our xbox on this page i bet so what we're going to do is switch over to the pc we're going to enter in one of the links for the access portal and then there's some settings we're going to change from there and then you should be good to go all right now that we're on the computer what we're going to do is enter in one of those links yes please add the https within it and then once you enter in the link you should get a page that says your connection is not private attackers might attempt to steal your information simply at the bottom click on advanced and proceed i bet so now that we're at the xbox dev portal all you got to do is underneath my games and apps click on add now we're going to go to that file we downloaded and drag and drop it right into it click on next there is no necessary dependencies, so just click on start. All right, once it says package successfully registered, simply click on done. And then for those using internal setups, all you simply got to do is go into the file explorer. Then just go into the local app data. Scroll all the way down until you find Ikeman Go UWP. If you installed a previous version, you might have two different folders. Just make sure the one that you're going in is the 1.0.6. Go into the local state. And then here you should see no folders. So all we got to do is click on create new folder. Underscore hacks. Just like this. And then from within this folder, just click inside of it. All right, so when you're uploading your screen packs into this folder, I highly recommend keeping them in .zip format or else you're going to have to upload every single file within your screen pack. So as an example, I'll be showing you me uploading my Mortal Kombat Project X screen pack. So go to choose file. Look for your .zip of your screen pack. Go to open. Now click on upload. And if it's in .zip, you get a prompt that says extract zip file contents to this directory. Click on OK. 
and then just give it a moment to upload and just like that we uploaded our screen pack right into it and it is extracted so now all we got to do is we could get out of this web browser we would go back to our xbox open up icman go and make sure our games are appearing within the menu all right so before you actually open up the app make sure to hover over it and click the select button on it go to view details Make sure to change it from an app to a game unless you have those settings by default. Then press B. And then all we're simply going to do is open up the app. I bet. So now that we're loaded into our app, you should now see that your screen packs are being detected. All you got to do is press down on the D pad. You should see a little highlight around this blue box. Press A. And then now you can scroll through your packs. I'm just going to open up Hyper Dragon Ball Z and make sure our game is loading in. If you see the loading at the bottom, then you should be good to go. All right, so a little quick tip is if you wanted to change this into full screen, simply go into the settings or the options, video setting. Make sure to not enable this option for full screen. All you simply got to do is go into the resolution tab and change the resolution to either 1280 by 720 or 1920 by 1080. So once you do that, Click on back, go to save and return. Your game will freeze and all you got to do is simply quit out of the app. Load right back into it. And then once you go back into your game, you should now see that we are now in full screen and you're ready to go. And that's pretty much about it. If you guys have any issues with your screen packs, please let me know down below so we can look into it for more info. And also, if this video did help you out, please hit that like hit that subscribe for more dev mode related content. I hope you guys have a great day.